everyone welcome back to another video on my channel so today i'm using these cube tips and um, they're from glitter planet they are so weird <laughs> um i must admit i wasn't really a massive fan of them i'm not gonna lie they weren't on for very long i took them off pretty much straight away to be able to do my nails again anyway so it wasn't really an issue i thought that'd be the perfect time to try them out anyway so i've just obviously stuck these on um, my nails look shiny because i actually applied peely base um onto my nails first to see whether that could withstand acrylic and well whether they'd come off easier with having that on underneath so i actually tested it with my four my index finger and my middle finger i put a coat of gel polish top coat on and then put it over the top of that and then these two that i'm doing now my ring finger and pinky i put just the peely base on the ones with just the peely base on came off pretty easy um was yeah basically came off fine not a problem the ones with the top coat on was an absolute disaster <laughs> well actually no the middle one was okay as well but the index finger um just was an absolute nightmare so yeah just um bear that in mind it didn't go great you can see the damage on my index finger in another acrylic video that i've got i don't know whether this one will be going up first or that one so i can't really say whether it will be up or not if it's not up it will be soon if it is up it's the one with the different glitters on each nail and basically you'll see there how it affected my index finger it wasn't good but anyway so i'm just using isla glitter from sparkle supplies uk this is absolutely beautiful because it's got gold flakes uh well it's got gold well, it's, a, it's like leaf but it's more flaky so it's got gold flakes in the actual glitter itself so it's really really effective so i'm just popping that on the middle bit of the cube and then down the sides i'm just going to pop some of this acrylic color which i think if i remember rightly is cotton candy from tears beauty i'm not 100 though but it will be at the beginning of the video i just forgot to look um so i'm just popping that down the sides of both nails and then i will mix it up a little bit for the other nails this one is literally just going to be the glitter down the middle the pink down the sides just about two thirds up the nail and then it will be um, naked clear naked clear that doesn't make any sense naked core <laughs> um, acrylic from tears will be put on the what's it called on the cuticle area <laughs> i don't know what is going on today i've just found out about a couple of hours ago that i can reopen on the 12th i'm not sure when this video is going to be going up it might even be up after i've already reopened i'm not sure um my schedules are all over the place at the moment but yeah i've just found out we can reopen it it's sort of gone to my head a little bit and i'm really excited but like I'm in the process of booking everyone in and it's stressful so I don't know what I'm on about I'm just talking rubbish don't mind me anyway um so once I've finished this nail we'll then move on to the next one um which is going to be slightly different to this one okay so it turns out I didn't finish that one on camera not at this stage anyway i obviously do it at a later date but never mind um so i'm just doing the exact same thing again with the glitter on the middle bit of this nail um and i've sped it up a lot because obviously you've just saw me do it a bit slower so i'm really sorry if you can hear crying it's my dog i'm not really sure why she's doing that i think she literally just hates anything other than her getting any attention from me so because i'm talking to you well talking to my phone she's unhappy <laughs> that's just the type of dog she is so anyway um she's now decided she wants to do the voiceover with me which is pretty difficult considering she cannot speak so i'm not really sure where she's going with that but anyway i'm popping white um at the tip this time and then i'm going to be doing a fade down the side on this nail i'm just going to let her out of the room because she's clearly got problems anyway um so i'm just popping white on the free edge and then i decided to put the glitter all the way down this nail so that's what you can see me doing here didn't really know what i was going for when i started the video so obviously as you can see i'm just sort of making it like making it up as i go along basically so there you go um so i'm just popping that down the middle and then like i said i am going to be doing a fade on that middle nail but obviously first of all i need to get that white down on both sides and then i will fade the color into the white
so here you can just see me fading cotton candy into um, the white what I wish I'd have done here is what I usually do with this sort of design and that is encapsulate the glitter that's on the top of the nail and then sort of butt the acrylic up to that because it's such an awkward shape I sort of thought that I didn't need to do that step because it was already risen and if I put acrylic on top of that and then butted it up it would lose the shape of the cube and all that sort of thing basically these tips are a nightmare I wasn't overly impressed <laughs> with how they looked at the end it's just not my thing like if you like weird and wonderful shapes then absolutely go for these because they are obviously quite different and that is cool but I didn't like the way they looked they were a nightmare to file and they just didn't look the same as I expected them to so it's one of those oh she's back now she's decided she doesn't want to leave the room she'd rather just sit with me and cry so if you keep hearing her crying i'm not doing anything horrible to her she just is very needy that's all it is so this is what they look like at the moment i'm just obviously popping naked now down this area here which is what i was trying to say earlier i've failed miserably at and i'm just dragging that over the glitter but not too far over where i'm going to cover it all up i just want it to be faded down this end and then once I finish that, I'd love to be able to tell you what I did next, but I generally do not have a clue. So I'm going to have to wait for it myself and then I will talk you through it. Okay, so it turns out after this, I'll just show you what they all looked like because the pinky was the same as the index finger and I didn't want you to see the same thing again. The ring finger was literally just white. So I'm just literally, I've fouled them all and everything already. I'm just wiping over now with some acetone to melt away those little scratches on the surface. And then we are going straight in with top coating. Like I said, I wasn't overly impressed with these nails, not just the cubes, like just actually my work in general. I wasn't really feeling it on this day. It, yeah look different in my mind than it did on the nails which was disappointing but the second nails that I did after this I really liked so it kind of made up for it but um I'm pretty sure that's all I did for this set so I'm going to leave this voice over here I really hope you enjoyed watching um I can't really say I hope you, you like them because I don't like them so that'd be a bit hypocritical but yeah I hope you enjoyed the video at the very least um thank you so so much for watching if you're not already subscribed then please do if you are then thank you so much I'm very very grateful for you and I'll be back soon bye